Okay, so we're going to do a Q&A. Rich popped out the other week with a load of questions on Facebook for you. And you lovely lot. I'm sure you've abused us in the, in the finest way possible. No, they'd never do that, Jay. Never. <laughs> but anyway, Rich is going to shout us some questions and we'll answer them to the best of our you ability. You get to hear the lovely Rich's voice, oh, innit? I do. Come on, mate. Turn on. yourself up. Let's make you famous. Go on. Um, yeah. So. He's bottled it already, folks. Come on, Richard. He's shy. <laughs> um, Colin, Walk, Colin Walker on Facebook. Uh, what's the best way to stop your hook length from wrapping around your inline bomb? You can have that one. So, um, the oh. most important thing is feathering, isn't it? Or hitting the clip right. If, if it's going into the water and you're not feathering it, so it's going like, brrr, rather than plop. Yeah, they want to land it's gonna, plops, don't they? It's gonna, it's gonna what was the question? What, what's it doing? It's twisting it's off? twisting around, around wrapping around. More often than not, it's to do with feathering. You've got to feather it right. Just before... I like as well, I mean. I Stop interrupting me, Jay! I talked about our bomb one, because when it goes, feathering's one thing as well, but ah, you I think you want to pull line. it towards you. Yeah. yeah, try and keep your, if you let it fall down on a tight line, if there's anything wrong with your look length, it can spin. So, right, let's just get this right. You've asked me to answer it, but you've answered it. Well, I fixed the answer. That's what I did. Right, I elaborated. Yeah. Mate, too Go big. On. Big loops. Twizzled loops. No, not even twizzled. If, if it's just loop to loop it and it's doubled over, that acts as sort of a boom. I think that's that why we're here and he's there, isn't it? Yes, I think so. Pipe can we have the sheet the to read out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so feather it. <laughs> feather it and pull it a little bit. As it's sinking, try and, uh, on a bomb, as long as you're not chucking to a feature, obviously. I like chucking in and just pull it, just to straighten that up. Yeah, I like that. Possible. Like that. And that helps get a bite. You just answer them all, Jay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. I was just elaborating. <laughs> I like that. Big word, mate. Don't use them. Go on. Let's Come go. on. Let's go. Um, let's go. Phil Conway on YouTube. Um, I love how normal and humble you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> He's my mm. carer, folks. <laughs> well, what I want to know is what gets you annoyed the most when you're fishing. <laughs> You go first, Gav. Uh, what gets me annoyed the most when I'm fishing? To be fair, I'm pretty chilled out and laid back, but um, I don't know. I think it's the, it's the usual one, you know. We'll, we'll talk to anyone, you know what I mean? It's one of them, we'll talk to absolutely anyone, but this kind of stuff, you know, people come behind you and it, it's just the vibrations going through the water and it doesn't make yeah. a massive difference. Not like it? that. No. Um, it's one of them, you know, I'm not trying to put you off and come and talk to us whatsoever, <laughs> uh, but it's, you know, it's just, just a bit of... Time and place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. When it's chaotic. I feel that bad now. Can I take it all back? Yeah, you're horrible. But no, I'm not, it's, it's this. This is the worst thing in the world for it. You see, like it. yeah, yeah, it's happened you so many times. You must be more approachable than me. I must pull faces because no one comes near me. Do they not? No, I'm getting tickled by this tree. Come on, mate, move down a bit. So I'll Sorry, down Rich, are we moving your cameras? Um, what do I like? I, I just don't like getting beat. I get right snot on. See, I'm used to it. So. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me like proper lose it. When I, I know I can't do nothing about it, like in the winter now. Yeah. I proper lose it when I like, I know I'm getting beat and that's it. I know, but I, I th this this time of year, there's not much you can do about it no. nowadays, is there? There's not winter it's, fishing. It's, it's not like summer where you can like draw them in or anything like that. Yeah. If, you, if you're not drawn right, you and you can be defeated straight away, can't you? Yeah. But how often is it? Like you think, Golden Rio, prime example, mate. <laughs> you think, no, we're not going to do anything from there. Oh, what one? Yeah. <laughs> in it. It's, it's, it's right, though, it can't surprise you. You can't get knocked off by your peg anymore. You just got to go and see. But that's how I don't like as well. People. Oh, they're all coming out now. In, interfering. Joe, you know, if you're in a pokey corner or whatever and you've got someone just crossing or whatever, I can't handle that either. Do you? You get rage on then? Yeah. Do you give them funny I'm a right miserable bugger, really. It's all an act on this camera thing, isn't it? I'm, I'm horrible. To be fair, <laughs> folks, yeah. Um, yeah, I keep my distance from him most times. <laughs> you would not like him when he's proper angry. I'm, I'm lovely, I'm lovely most of the Don't time. listen to me. <laughs> so, yeah, no, just... Just, <laughs> just the, the best answer Please to Please help me. <laughs> Just don't lose horrible, it. Horrible, horrible you are. <laughs> lovely, right. lovely. Right. Um, Andrew Lavender on Facebook. Has Jamie never fished a river before the last video? I'm, uh, Man, you I have, I've had a play a lot. I, I've fished lots. I've fished the Weaver a lot in my younger days, but that's like a girly river, isn't it? That's yeah, it's one a that big, move deep, slow, flowing river, isn't it? Yeah, I used to play on the River Dee a lot. Used to yeah, yeah. A bit like that one. And I've been the Dane and the Little Weaver a bit. Yeah, but yeah. that's the first time I've done it with someone that knew what they were doing. Who's that then? The Rich come with us. So, yeah, Rich is there with us. It's well, you, you've done it all day, haven't you? We've you know, had a dick it, about, we? it must do you ready when you get these uh, comments. We, we might have some in here, so I better be careful what I say. Yeah. Uh, that you know, we can only catch up ones in carp. Trust me, folks. He's, he's done it all. You know, when we first started fishing, there was no commercials around. We we, no. we, we grew up on natural waters, rivers, canals, didn't we, mate? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's one of them. 
Not that, yeah, he did. We'll, we'll probably have a question mark. Should have gone to Canal today. He should have gone to Shroppy today. <laughs> yes, yeah. A little bit difficult. Mm. Come on, Rich, next one, mate. Um, it's draw time. Um, this one's from William Parker, by the way. Do you prefer to go near the front of the queue or take what's left? Or Ooh. do you have any other superstitions when you draw? Mm, I don't mind. Depends how long you've got to get ready. That's the, all that dictates it for me. If I've See, not got long to get ready, I, I want to get in quick. I used to go through phases thinking, right, I'll, I'll go right to the back. I've literally the less peg, peg that's left. So often, if you've been in a match or whatever, yeah, and it's a good and the best peg is it's the one that's It's never ever the worst peg at the end, is it? No. But recently, yeah. over the last few years, I like to be at the front because they're, they're all still in there. Yeah. It's get one of them, isn't it? It's, it's, it's just what you got. Yeah. It's like wearing like lucky underpants and stuff like that, isn't it? You might wear the same lucky underpants every week. Of course, you'd wash them. <laughs> but it's right, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what? You mean just the, the turn them only, inside out? The only lucky is they stink. Oh, mate, come on, Jay. I've had the same ones. But it's like that with months. socks and everything, isn't it? Or <laughs> lucky cap, anything like that. Or some yeah. money in your anything. All in your head, isn't it? It depends yeah. how efficient you are at getting ready. Yeah, definitely. That's my answer. If, you, if you're rubbish like me, get in handy. Oh, I like that, yeah. You mean if you've just got like, like, one rig that does all? Yeah. Yes, I like that, mate. Yes. yes. But yeah, it's entirely up to you. Jonathan Marshall on YouTube. Could you explain in detail the weights? of different pole floats. For instance, does a 4x14 mean the float <laughs> is four number 14 shots? This has always baffled me what the numbers actually mean. So it, <laughs> it goes from like old school styles. So 414s means four number 14 styles from like proper back in the day. Yeah. Um, it's proper confusing. That's why you'll see me using floats that say like seven number ten, eight number ten, nine number ten, because I know exactly that them floats take that. Yeah, they're made These by two hand take move. the mick out of me all the time for using them. <laughs> But I know exactly what the what the users wonder is dumped there, Jay. I know exactly mm. what them floats take. Uh, I think obviously like the point one, the point two of a gram, you know, that's a little bit more relevant because on some dispensers a shot they have like the, the grammage on them, don't you and what have you? Yeah. So you could work it out that way. But if you stick to a certain pattern of flow, they all take the same amount of yeah. shot and you get that, used to it. That's my advice is to use the same float all the time, same style of float in various sizes and you'll yeah. learn what they take on it. Definitely, 100%. But that's what it is, it's old school styles. Yes. Uh, Jason Lodge on Facebook, do you ever see yourselves changing to specialise in another area of fishing like Steve Ringer did with feeder fishing? Mm, no. I don't think I do. I don't think so. I just love where we are now. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's so... There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of diverse fishing around for us, isn't there? We could like jump into a bit of feeder fishing, but then obviously we've always got the big qualifiers as well. Yeah. And it's brilliant, you know, obviously in our matches now we can do pole fishing, waggler fishing, feeder fishing. So we've got it all, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, the options of variety and in the disciplines that we do, yeah. it's probably the widest out of everything. We get to do whatever we want. And then this we time of year we get to have a bit of a mess around and yeah. go catch grailings on rivers and all that, don't yeah. we? You know what I mean? So that's what I like, variety. Mm. Yeah. I think Spice of in life, innit, Jay? Yes. Like turmeric and your bronze maggots? Yes, and we like big checks as well, so that's why we do it. Well, you do. like big checks. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I need to pull my finger out a bit this year. Okay. I thought it was a mink, it's a black cat. Can you see it right over there on the edge line? It is a black cat. You got them beer goggles on again? No, not yet. <laughs> um, Ian Simpson on Facebook, freezing leftover ground bait, yes or no? I know, Simba. Um, you got the nice answer or not? Nice answer. In fact, the, the brutal answer has stopped being tight. Second answer is, if on a budget, yeah, why not? They'll eat anything. In yeah. the summertime, you throw anything and they'll eat it. As long as you feed the bait in the correct way, they will eat literally anything when they're feeding. So, Definitely. Yeah. Definitely budget, freezer rather than just bag it up and put it in the fridge so you can just go sour, doesn't it? Yeah, that, yeah you, don't, you don't want it stinky and sour. Definitely but freezer. Even that, I don't know how much difference that makes. I've had blue stuff before now and everything. It's, it's, no, yeah, they yeah, just when, eat when it. When it, it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. It, is. it entirely <laughs> depends on your budget, Cormoran. Mm. Isn't it? Mike Hardman on Facebook again. Uh, what advice would you give my six-year-old boy who wants to get into fishing but reads all the angling press and is confused by all different tackle methods and bait out Oh, the six-year-old, just stop just, worrying about it and enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, just enjoy it. You know, stick to one one method. Don't try and do everything. You know, whip fishing with maggots. Go and get some bites. Don't go on canals like we used to do back in the day. Get, <laughs> get on c commercials where you're going to get bites. Simple as that, isn't it? Yeah. Don't complicate anything. Yeah, Don't try and fish pole at whatever length. Just whip and short pole and, you know, even like a, a, a little short waggler rod and everything like that. Just okay. want to be getting bites. Simple as that. Yeah, it's, it's going home enjoying it. He's six. Just yeah, catch yeah. some fish. Go throw some maggots and catch some fish. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, look, anything. Budget. Anything would be nice. Tickle today. the enemy, yeah. Um, Brad Lucas on Facebook. 
How old were you when you got your first sponsor and what's the best advice for a young angler wanting to get sponsored? Yeah. Can I go? I'm go going. mate, go, well, I know I, you'd I, like I, this. How old were we first? I, I was, I don't even know, 22, 23. So that was so major first sponsor, property. yeah? First major sponsor. Yeah. Um, First individual sponsor, 2023. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you get little bits of sponsorship off tackle shops, don't you? I mean, yeah. uh, Dave's in Middlewich, best tackle shop in the world, by the way. Uh, they looked after me since I was like six year old, you know, this, that, and the other. But my first major sponsor was when I was probably 19, something like that. But I'll let you find this in a bit. I'm on one go on, we talk about go. this. Go, go, go. You need more than anything is to forget about this flipping sponsorship obsession that all young anglers and most flipping anglers have got now. It's just go fishing. It's not the beer. It's, it's just it about going nothing. and enjoying it. Yeah, go it? have a nice day out, catch some fish, let your results do the talking. If it comes to that, in years' time, whatever, when you've won a load or whatever, and you're a, a nice, approachable person with a nice presence, then someone will come look for you. Don't have sponsorship as you go. Yeah, go and be a good angler. Go and learn how to catch fish in whatever discipline you choose to do. Go and learn how to be good at it, and then it'll come of its own accord. Don't have that as the reason why you go fishing. Yeah. yeah, you go fishing because you just want to catch some fish. You see it all too often these days, don't you? Young yeah. anglers, they're just like, right, oh, how do I get sponsored? I want to get sponsored. It means more than catching a fish Not to people now, and it shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, that comes as a privilege later in life when, when you've learnt how to fish and you're good at it. I'm still learning. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right though. It is. Oh, yeah, mate, definitely. No doubt. Out of the planes. Big one, that. Oh, is it that oh, big? Be the beluga, I bet it's it? that beluga. Yeah? Yeah. There's an actual I think plane they that call looks that like the Beluga, it. don't they? It's like a nickname. Big. Yeah, it's big fat boy. It's massive. You start calling me Beluga and we're gonna fall out. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing now. <laughs> you see him turning folks. This is what you know what I mean? This is what he's like. <laughs> I thought the cameras are off there. Look what we've got to put up with. Come on, Rich. Um, Relax. That's, that sponsorship one's got me all riled up, hasn't it? <laughs> it has, mate. <laughs> he's got the best name. Slippy Fish 1990. Yeah. Nice. Um, just wondering how you guys convince your wife slash partners to let you fish all the time. All answers much appreciated. I've had to give mine 110,000 reasons this year. And yes, just mate. It does, it. it does soften <laughs> it a bit, doesn't it, to be fair? Yeah. No, uh, it, it's our job, isn't it? We're very lucky that it's what we do for a living. Definitely. I mean, obviously, my fishing at a weekend now, unless it's a big qualifier, I don't bother. I, I love spending time with me. I've got to say now, and a wife and my kids. <laughs> and it's just one of the things that I just absolutely love it. It's, it's brilliant. I mean, I'm lucky that I get to go fishing Monday to Friday, but weekends for me, until the big qualifiers start, yeah, it's family that, time. that's family time, without a doubt. Yeah, that, that's changed for me as well, like, having kids and all that. It's oh, just, mate, it's just the best thing you have in the world. It's just fishing, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's great, but... Nothing else matters, things. Mate. Literally nothing else matters. Yeah, as long as you divide your time equally, it should all be good. Yeah. Definitely. Harry Keyes on Facebook. Who's best at keeping the gear tidy? Yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, done, dusted. Is, is, done. is preparation important, Andrew? Very important, right? I, I put so much into my prep that uh, the gear hooks in Ireland are my best friends at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not very uh, well prepared. Mm. Oh, I think most of your rigs are in my box, to be fair. Yeah. From last time I went out. Um, <laughs> David Rimley, Rimley. Um, which colour ground bait do you prefer to use in winter, light or dark? Oh, definitely dark, I think. Obviously, when the water's um, clear, I think a dark ground bait stands out. But it's interesting, because like you speak to French anglers, they use dead light ground baits. Yeah, because like the skimmers can all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends I'll, on water, doesn't it? It does depend on water and depth and everything, but the clearer the water, then I'd definitely go dark. Mm. Whereas you've gone the exact opposite to me today. Only because that's what I grabbed before. All oh, right, fair enough, fair enough, mate. Yeah, it was just that that'll do with what we're doing. <laughs> I, I'd, with the fishing I do, I don't use ground bait in the winter. To be fair, it's very rare. I mean, mm. coaching wise, I very, very rarely fish ground bait. It's maggots and micros this time yeah. of year, isn't it? Yeah. Ground bait wise, for me, unless it's a natural water, I just don't put it in on commercials. No. I don't need to, do I you? find on commercials, no even for silvers, blue feeding's better, isn't it? Oh, 100%. Just draws I'd them in, doesn't it? I'd always rather feed casters than. This treat's doing Come on, mate, come down but here a bit. I'd always rather feed casters than ground bait, but that's just the way we fish, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. But definitely. yeah, dark would probably be the, the answer if I were to use it. And what about like mm. fish mealing that or. Depends what you that bother you? It depends what you're after, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, if you've enjoyed that, say like and subscribe to the, the YouTube page, and we will be back with you with part two very shortly. We're just going for a brew!
I can't believe we got no wellies on. Mate, it's Rocking training the weather, trainees, isn't it? Yeah. Sun's out and everything. These are minging now. I jet wash my drive. Yesterday. White trainers, isn't it? It's your trademark. Like Nuddy had his has his white cap. You've got your white trainees. I have white trainees. That's it's, mate, it's right. It's done, oh. done dusted. I've got strawberry blonde trainees. You've had yeah, yeah they rocked the, out in the stairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yes, they were, mate. They're out all summer long these are now. <laughs> <laughs> summer trainees.